TCL, the company probably best known for their budget-friendly TVs, is releasing a collection of mid-range smartphones for the US market. They announced the 10 series at the start of the year, and now they're getting ready to launch. So here we have the TCL 10L, which is the most affordable of the trio of new smartphones. But just because it's the most affordable model doesn't mean it skimps on features. It still packs a quad rear camera setup and pretty decent battery, mid-range processor. You'll see more of that in a moment. So taking a look inside the box, first and foremost, we'll find some paperwork, including a silicone plastic case to add some protection right out of the box. We have the 10L smartphone itself, and the only two accessories left include the USB-C charging cable and the standard US wall wart. If we unwrap the 10L from its protective plastic sheath, we'll find the Mariana Blue variant. It features this shiny blue plastic back with a metallic frame. The most striking characteristic though is the camera module, home to four camera sensors flanked by a flash on either side. You don't really see a four camera sensors on a mid-range phone, let alone a $250 phone like this one. Uh, and of course, we do have that rear-mounted fingerprint scanner shaped like a cube uh, or a square, and it's nice to see a headphone jack up top. Powering on the phone, we'll see there's a cutout in the upper left-hand corner for the 16-megapixel selfie camera. Since this is the most inexpensive model, the specs aren't going to be anything too shocking, but we do have a large 6.53-inch IPS LCD display with a 395 pixel per inch index, Powering it all is a mid-range Qualcomm 665 octa-core chipset with 6 gigabytes of RAM, man, they like their 6s, and 64 gigabytes of storage in the base model. And uh, there is a fairly extensive custom skin running on top of Android 10. For better or worse, that's to be determined. But we'll see the launcher has Google Now, a swipe off to the left of the home screen. And what's actually kind of neat is if you open up a folder, you can scroll to another folder without having to go back to your home screens. That's kind of a neat little uh, unique feature I haven't really seen before. Now the app drawer, if you choose to enable it, by default is sectioned by category, but you can sort your apps in a bunch of different ways, which is actually pretty useful. I haven't quite seen as many sorting options as most OEM launchers. So it's kind of, kind of neat to see uh, TCL kind of adding their little twist to a couple areas here with the launcher. There are a bit more pre-installed apps than on a stock Android device. There's an app for Next Vision or NXT Vision, which helps fine tune the saturation and colors of your display. And we do have a file share app, a few TCL apps, and some third-party apps like Netflix and YouTube Music. I've seen worse, but uh, there is still a handful of bloatware apps, you could say. But clearly the main focus here for this phone, no pun intended, is the quad camera setup which is pretty generous for a sub $300 device. You get a 48 megapixel f1.8 main camera sensor, an eight megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel macro, and two megapixel sensor for capturing depth data. And there's a bunch of features I'm looking forward to uh, testing more in the camera app, but upon first impressions, I like how you can quickly scroll and switch between camera modes on the bottom here. The app seems to be pretty responsive, which is good, but we'll have to do some more testing to find out how reliable this app is. Other specs include a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. We have downward facing speakers and a headphone jack I mentioned earlier. For $249, I think the TCL 10L looks like a pretty solid deal, but I'm gonna hold off on making any final judgment until I spend more time with this device. It is slated to launch later this month. I'll share more information when it becomes more official. With that said, let me know if you have any questions. As always, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.